pending stories today. Yen strengthens for the third day on falling U.S. inflation expectations. Treasury five-year, 30-year ended uh, session on flattest levels at, as 95.5 basis point spread was breached, taking it to nine-year lows. And uh, I said it ties in with what you were saying. And then gilts under pressure as Haldane's hawkish comments uh, uh, hit the market. Cable holds uh, above 50-day uh, moving average at 126.60. Uh, so, I mean, Haldane really is... Uh, uh, breaking out of the ranks there. I mean, uh, it's quite, I mean, there's a chief economist. I mean, this is quite he is the chief economist. The, the significant part, I think, in that in in that is you know that keeps the potential um, voters for a rate hike. Well, it probably implies he's going to vote for a rate hike fairly soon, and then it only takes. Well, it actually takes two more because for the time being, while they don't have uh, nine members of the committee, if it is for all, Mr. Carney has a um, a casting vote. So he effectively has two votes at the moment. So we shall have to see how this more hawkish talk actually turns out in terms of actual voting patterns on the MPC. It means a slightly choppier time for cable. That's obviously a vacancy many, many, many would like to fill, I'm sure. <laughs>